awesome. I am. This is First <laughs> Corinthians chapter. <laughs> First Corinthians chapter sixteen, and I'll start at verse fourteen. Bring it out. Let all your things be done with charity. Uh -huh. I beseech you, brethren, ye know that the house of Stephanus, that it is the first fruits of Achaia, and they and they have addicted. They have addicted themselves to the ministry of the saints. Man, hey, look, bro. It's so important, man. It's so important to give out this word right now. More than ever. Okay? It's so important, man. We can't stress it enough. Right? I think one day we should just like really just see how much work we really could put in in a, in a, in a, a, a daylight period. Just wake up and just say, we're going from sun up to sun down. You understand? Uh, 24 hour camps. You know? <laughs> hey, hey. So they tell us to go home. Right. <laughs> we ain't done yet. Right. Right? We, gonna pro we prophesying the wind. Right. Right now. Read what you got, huh? This is Ecclesiastes chapter 9 and verse 10. Whatsoever thy hand findeth to do, do it with thy might. Right. For there is no work, nor device, nor knowledge, nor wisdom in the grave whither thou goest. Hey, man, listen. <laughs> Y'all better understand what that brother just read to y'all. All right? This knowledge is powerful, man. Right. And it has to be spread. Right? We can't just hold it for ourselves, right? Uh, what, what we got to do? What? What we got to do? Do the work. Right. We got to do the work. <laughs> we got to be servants out here, man. That's right. We got to, we got to, hey, hey. The harvest is what? Truly plenteous. Truly plenteous, man. But the laborers, but the laborers are few. Are few right? Come on, man. <laughs> Hiding wisdom, man. How you do that? I think that's against wisdom, ain't it? Right. How you go? Uh, come on, brother. Wisdom is something that's so precious, man. How you hide wisdom? That's not even using wisdom. Right. Right? This right here. <laughs> All right, this is the book of Sirach, chapter 20 and verse 31. Right <laughs> Spirit, man. It says, better is he that hideth his folly uh -huh. than the man that hideth his wisdom. That's right. Come on, man. That's in the spirit right there, man. Uh. Right? It's better for you to hide your folly than to, hey, hide wisdom. God. Come on. Yeah, man, but some of these Negroes don't hide a damn thing. It's open folly. Right. right. Open folly season. Right. Let me get Hosea 4 and 6, man. Right? That's the problem, man. Right? This is Hosea chapter 4 and verse 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. Right. That thou shalt be no priest to me. Right. So that's why y'all ain't out here doing nothing. Because y'all ain't going to be a priest to Right? You good for nothing Israelite. Right? right? You part of the two-third. Right? That's why. That's why, that's why when I see these brothers, I say, yeah, that's why they're behind the P-boards, man. That's a lack of love, man. Right? They, they don't love their people. Nah, they right? They don't, you don't know what they doing. They back there smoking big backwoods. Right? right? Percocex. High. Behind the keyboard. Right? You can't, you can't say, hey, brother, yeah, you in the spirit. You can't tell them. The brother wrote two words and you like, yeah, the brother in the spirit. No, that's the, that's the Bible, brother. Right. The Bible in the spirit. Right. What are you talking right. about? This brother ain't did nothing spectacular, man. But post the scripture. Right? Come on, man. We got to do this work, man. It's so important, man. Read what you got, huh? Okay. I got last part. I made 47 posts today. I did the work. Right. <laughs> it says, seeing thou has forgotten the law of thy God. Niggas ain't doing no God laws of God. No, that's the laws of Moses, brother. Laws of, you sure? Law of thy God. Oh, God. hold on. The laws of, hold on. God. It's, can you go to the Blue Letter Bible, brother? <laughs> Right. Huh? Brother, can you go to the uh, JPS, bro? Can we right. do that? Hey, right. that ain't what the group said to just say. Right. right? Nah, brother. Right? You got to go look at the scrolls. Right. right? They give you everything in the world, man. Read on. I will also forget thy children. Uh -huh. He's going to also forget your children, man. Right? And that's a, that's a, that's a sad thing, man. Right? Because you can't keep the laws of God. Because you hate the most high ultimately. Right, give me that Isaiah, Isaiah 34, 16. Yeah, read that one now. <laughs> Keep waiting. <laughs> this is Isaiah chapter 34 and verse 16. Bring it out. It says, Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. Uh -huh. 
No one of these shall fail. Nah, brother. No, no one of these, no, brother. We can't keep the commandments. You can't do it. <laughs> Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. Uh -huh. No one of these shall fail. Uh -huh. None shall want her mate. Right. For my mouth it hath commanded, and his spirit it hath gathered them. I want to, what's that scripture I showed you while ago? I want to bring that out real quick. I want to bring that out real quick, real quick, like, bear with me. <laughs> All right. Uh, read uh, the DBY translation right there. Right? That's uh, John 14, 31. This is John chapter 14, verse 31, out of the DBY version. I don't know what that is. But that the world may know that I love the Father, and as the Father has commanded me, thus I do. What did Christ say? As the Father has commanded me, thus I do. Uh -huh. Rise up, let us go then. Let who? Let us go hence. He said, hey, let us go do what the Most High commanded us, man. Right. Right? Christ went and did what the Most High commanded. Now you saying that we better than the Most High? We better than Christ? Hey man, why ain't got no mask on? man, we don't need no mask. Right? We, we, we make our body as a living sacrifice, That's brother. Right. It out, okay? It we don't need no mask. Right? No mask right? Here, I got, hey, I, I'm in the spirit. In the spirit right? Mean. Right? Hold on, I got something for you. Give me that Ecclesiastes 8 and 5. Right? Hey, that's the last. Yeah, I'm in the spirit. Right? Pass that back. You yeah, know? Because <laughs> I don't know about you, brother. You might, hold on, you might just make an accident today. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 8 and verse 5. Bring it out! Whoso keepeth the commandment. What the Bible say? Whoso keepeth the commandment shall feel no evil thing. That's right. And the wise man's heart discerneth both time and judgment. Read that again. Uh, read that again. Hold on. Why, bring it why, up. You, why you brothers ain't got no mask on? Read. <laughs> Verse 5. Whoso keepeth the commandment right. shall feel no evil thing. Right. And the wise man's heart discerneth both time and judgment. Ooh. So it ain't time to put on no mask. We're going to put on the armor of God. Right? We're going to keep these commandments because we ain't about to feel no evil thing, man. That's right. right? That's hey. Hey, that's the answer, man. That's right, Straight I. up, man. That's right, I. All right. Where we at? What you got for me, y'all? What you got? Proverbs 11. 21. Bring it out. Con. We was kind of touching on it earlier about doing the work. This is Proverbs chapter 11 and verse 31. Uh -huh. Behold, the righteous shall be recompensed in the earth. Much more. It's like you. Verse 30. I'm oh, hold 30. on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Read that. That's a hold on. Okay, hold read, hold read, up. 30 to okay go ahead. God. Yeah, read that. Proverbs chapter 11 and verse 30 uh -huh. through 31. Bring it out. The fruit of the righteous is a tree of life. Right. And he that winneth souls is wise. Right. Behold, the righteous shall be recompensed in the earth the word what does the word recompense mean pay back, pay back. Right. the righteous shall be paid back in the earth why because the bible says he that wins so souls he is wise right. and he's going to be paid back right read on it says behold the righteous shall be recompensed in the earth much more the wicked and the sinner hey much more the wicked and the sinner no, going to no, get no, 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 no. Holy Spirit is going to come down <laughs> and teach you directly, bro. Hey, you brother. Say the word. <laughs> 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 hey, man, we can get in that Holy Spirit, too, brother, because, uh, you know. But uh, you got something out? This is Hosea chapter 10 and 12. Bring it out. It says, sow to yourselves in righteousness uh -huh. and reap in mercy. Right. Break up your fallow ground, for it is time to seek the Lord. Till he come and rain righteousness upon you. Man, it's time to seek the Lord, man. All right? We can't we can't stress it, man. Go to your power, man. Seek him right. where he shall be found, man. Right? And the, and the best way and the fastest way to get to him is by picking up the Holy Bible. Right? right? Yes, Repenting. Right? right? What the Bible says, seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. That's right. Okay? That's what you need to do, man. That should be your first thing. Coming back. 
and none shall want her mate. You ain't about to put nothing. The Quran garbage, right? Right, the, 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 uh, the, uh, the Vedas is garbage, right? The, 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 the laws of Ma'at, garbage, right? We Israelites, we ain't no damn Egyptians, man, right? That's a Hermetic custom. It might work for the Hermites, but we got 613, and we got faith in the Mashiach, y'all was shot. That's right. right. Something y'all ain't got, right? The power, man. Go ahead. Right. This is Malachi chapter 3 and verse 16. Bring it out. Then they that feared the Lord spake often one to another. He said what? Then they that feared the Lord spake often one to another. Hey, we be out here, man. We what? Iron sharpening iron? Uh, right? Edifying? Right? Hey, brother, what, what do you think this scripture mean right here? What you get out of this? Uh, right? Dealing one to another. Jeremiah, man, that brother right there be in the spirit, man. Right? And y'all better now whoever see this video and, and y'all see your Maya out here be like, hold on, that brother you were standing with was talking about the Kemet brothers. Hold on, my brother in the spirit, man, he's trying to bring all them brothers over. Right? That's the goal. Right? So he build with brothers, man. Even if they got a different understanding. Right? And he don't move off of his square, man. That's right. Right? Right? He hey, you sure you ain't moving? Brother. <laughs> <laughs> Read that again. Huh? It says, Then they that feared the Lord spake often one to another, uh -huh. and the Lord hearkened and heard it. Right. And a book of remembrance was written before him for them that feared the Lord That's right. and that thought upon his name. That's right. So the most high hearers, when we edifying each other, man, he hear that. He like them brothers in the spirit. Them my sons, man. That's who I, he's proud, man. Right? Jumping with cheer, man. Gladness. Like, that's the brother. I knew it. That Hey, that's the spirit I put in him. Right? Right. Right? right? What you got, huh? You got something? I want. Officer? I mean, uh, soldier? So like it. All right. Uh, let me get, uh, it was a scripture I wanted to get. Uh, it's in Joel, I think. Red talks about uh, the plow. The plow in the pony oh, hooks. Shit. Yeah, I think it's uh, Joel 3, maybe? Joel 3? or No, no, that's not. Hold on. Yeah, Joel 3 out there. It might be too kind. Yeah, just look it up real quick, Bobby Gashai. That's what I want real quick, man. Wait, which one you want? Beat your plowshares into swords? Kind, kind, that's it. Hold on, what? Verse 9, that's why. 3 and 9. I'm tripping. God. This is Joel chapter 3 and verse 9. Bring it out. Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Right. Prepare war. Uh -huh. Wake up the mighty men. Right. Let all the men of war draw near. Right. Let them come up. Beat your plowshares into swords uh -huh. and your pruning hooks into spears. Right. Let the weak say, I am strong. Right. Assemble yourselves and, Salakia, and come, all ye heathen, and gather yourself together round about. Thither, cause thy thy mighty ones to come down, O oh Lord. Right. So, hey man, it's about to be a, a, a damn warm out here, man. God. All right. And it's gonna be the heathens against the children of God, man. God. Okay. And we're preparing for it right now, man. God. It's on a spiritual level. That's right. Right. We ain't tripping on the we ain't tripping on the flesh, man. Right. Right. We we talking about a spiritual aspect of our lives, man. All right. And we got to understand this. You got something, Mike? Uh, I'm trying to get it right now. Come on, bring it out. Bring it out, huh? What did it say, Yacht? Go ahead. This is Jeremiah. This is Jeremiah chapter 51 and verse 20. Bring it out. Thou art my battle axe and weapons of war. What the Bible say? Thou art, Thou art my, my battle, battle axe and weapons of war. Uh -huh. For with thee will I break in pieces the nations. Uh -huh. And with thee will I destroy kingdoms. So a lot of people, man, they like, don't bring that out there on them streets, brother. Right. Nah, brother. You ain't, you, you gonna get put to death. Yeah. Right? They gonna kill you. Man, the Most High said we are his battle axe and weapons of war, right? A soldier ain't never supposed to be afraid. The only thing we fear is the Most High God, man. All right? He the only person that can do something to us. He the ones that give us judgment. Not damn man. 
All right? We walk in the spirit of the Most High, man. By Shema Mashiach Yahweh Right? Don't forget about the Ba Shema Mashiach Yahweh Shai, man. Right? We put the emphasis on our Lord and Savior. Right? Right? But our supreme power, Yahweh. All right? Never forget it. All right? Go ahead, huh? This is John chapter 6 and verse 65. Bring it out. And he said, Therefore said I unto you that no man can come unto me except it were given unto him of my father. Hey, no man can come unto him unless it was given unto him by the father, man. Right? Come on, man. You got to know what's your job out here. Right. You got to know what's the instruction of where you operating in the spirit. Right? What direction you supposed to be going? Right? A lot of y'all, man, y'all just like the brother said, y'all got open folly. Y'all say y'all claim to be Israelites, y'all claim to be the children of Israel, but you don't do nothing the Israelites supposed to be doing. Right? And that's, that's, that's that goes for the men and that goes for the women, man. Right? And children. Right? Oh, yeah. This is all about the pool. Like, not the last one. All right, go ahead. This is John chapter 19 and verse 11. Yahweh answered, Thou couldn't have no power at all against me. Except it were given thee from above. Right. So basically, when we come out here and teach, y'all don't have power against us. Except it was given to you from the Lord. So right. at, utterly at the end of the day, it was, it's on the Most High. Right. If God. the Most High wants something to happen to us, it's because, hey, let the Most High's will be done. God. Right? You had no say so in that. Right? The Most High took control over you and he made you do it. Right? That's the point, man. The Most High signed off for it. Right? All praises for that. Right? All praises. If I get put to death, brother, let the most house will be done. Right? Right? Hey, man. God. Lord willing, though, I got work to do. Right. right. <laughs> right. But hey, man. Right you know, we're going to go home and. Huh? Hey, hey, you know? Hey, what y'all wish I say? It's not my hour. My it's not, hour. hey, real talk. My hour has not, not yet come. come. Not yet come, man. <laughs> but when it do, I, I want to be in the spirit of Yahweh, man. I mean, Yahweh Shire, right. Salakia. Right? Hey man, he, hey, that's right. <laughs> you know, hey, he got what he got took it to the slaughter, man. Right? Willingly, Willingly man. Let's get that real quick. Let's read that. Bobby Kashan. Isaiah 53. Uh, 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 53. Can I say something real quick? Kind of. Uh, hey, Lamb, last week, last Shabbat, we was out teaching at Quick Trip, and you see in the video, um, the captain noted to me, because I ain't know, right? But he told me how it was gr a green laser on each one of the brothers at Quick Trip. A green laser. Captain, the bar, you said you can see it in the video, a green laser going from brother to brother on the line. But ain't no ain't nothing happened to us though. It's hey, not our but what do you think you think they ain't been hey, you know how they 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 devils, man. So they I can just shoot them right in the head right now. Right? He they won't even know. They could be on top of one of these buildings, man. Right. People sit all on top of these buildings. Right. They the they the ones that got the snipers, man. They the ones that got the 50 cows, right? So you gotta be, you gotta be prepared, man. You gotta be in the spirit of the most high when you come out here, man. God. You got to, man. That's why I got it. You got it? Man, bring that out, huh? God. This is 2 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 3. Bring it out. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God. To the pulling down of strongholds. Khan, it says our weapons of warfare. When we when we fighting against these different different um, enemies, we know at the end of the day it's not carnal, man. It's a spiritual battle, like you say in Ephesians, man. God. Brother in the spirit, bring that out. Huh? This is Isaiah chapter fifty four and verse seventeen. Bring it out. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper, uh -huh. and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment. Thou shalt condemn. Hey man, you think you're going to come against the children of Israel, man? You're going to get condemned, man. No weapon against us shall prosper, man. Right? And what the word prosper, prosper mean? Meaning being successful. You're not going to succeed up your, your wickedness, man. What you're trying to do, man. And like I said, if it is of the most high, let us will be done. But y'all can't do nothing to us, man. Right? Y'all can't do nothing to us, man. Because we're on a whole other spiritual level in these last days, man. Okay? Read what you got up. Huh? Real quick. This is Job chapter 6 and verse 20. Bring it out. They were confounded because they had hope. They came thither and were ashamed 
And that's for all our enemies that come up before us, man. That's right. On the spiritual level, they come up against us, man. God. And they all get oh. confounded, man. God. They had hope, but they were put to shame. God. Hey, they had hope, but they was put to shame. They thought they was going to come against us, man. Right? They, they thought they had the laser on his chest, man. <laughs> But for some reason, they just couldn't pull the trigger. Gun jam. Gun jam about four or five times. Say, man, what's wrong with this thing? Right? Read what you got, huh? This is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 3, verse 1. Bring it out! But the souls of the righteous are in the hand of God. God! And there shall no torment touch them. God! In the sight of the unwise, they seem to die. God! And their departure is taken from misery. And they're going from us to be utter destruction, destruction, but they are in peace. For though they be punished in the sight of men, yet is their hope full of immortality. God! Hey, man, y'all, hey, look, man. Y'all ain't got nothing coming for us, man. Right? That's the point. Powerful scripture from the, from the wise Solomon, man. Right? The wisest person to ever step foot on this planet. Right? Come on, man. What's going on out here? Can they touch us, Ak? They can't touch us, man. Right? God forbid, like the brother said. Right? They ain't got nothing for the prophets, man. Right? They ain't got nothing for my officer here, man. They ain't got nothing for my soldiers, man. Right? Or my sisters, man. Y'all ain't got nothing for us, man. We living in the spirit in these last days. Right? We move when the most high tell us to move. Right? What you got, Ak? You got something? Okay, we're going to work on it. All right. uh, praises. We're going to let y'all know, you so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans, y'all God's chosen people according to the Bible. That's right. right. Y'all need to wake up and repent and come back to a Mashiach Yahweshai, right. who y'all ignorantly called Jesus Christ, man. Right. right? Wake up, man. What they say? What they say? Wake up, Jacob. Right? right? Y'all need to wake up, man. Right. You got that, huh? This is Job chapter 1 and verse 9. Then Satan answered the Lord and said, Doth Job fear God for not? Hast not thou made an hedge about him and about his house and about all that he hath on every side? Thou hast blessed the work of his hands and his substance is increased in the land. So the Most High put a hedge around Job to where no spirits or no demons could touch him. He was, he was safe. He was safe everywhere around about him. His family was safe. Everybody. 